Hey everyone, Robles Jr. here, and today we're going to take a look at the N64 emulator for the PS Vita. And if you have the Vita Homebrew browser, you are able to download it and install it right away. And if you don't have this app yet, I do have a video on how to install it in the description down below. So, we are going to install this right now. Let's download. I'll also leave a VPK link in the description down below. Diatalus X64 finally for the PS Vita. So Diatalus X64 is a Nintendo 64 emulator originally for Linux and PSP ported to PS Vita thanks to Vita GL usage. Let's check out this video here. See what we got going on. And make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. That way you can download it no problem. Let's see what this this video is 29 minutes long. Wow. Yeah, let's not let's not play that. So here it is. Let's open it up and see what we got going on. All right. So at the top here we have Diatalus X64 and we have a mouse cursor and we can move it with our analog stick. The left analog stick. Can't move it with the D-pad. And we have different options at the top. We have emulation, graphics, audio, input, and extra. So let's check out extra here. How do we do that? Pressing X, I'm guessing. Uh, triangle, square. Haven't read the notes at all. I just, just jumped into it. There we go. So you have to press the L button in order for you to get the drop down and we can do graphics it's a very sensitive so I gotta go slow let's do original how do I select it by square triangle interesting I guess it's with the same button L yep so if I wanted to go original, I'll press the L trigger button. If I press X, triangle, none of those work. So let's take a look at how the folders are set up and where we're going to install our ROMs. Let's open up Vita Shell. Whoops. Let's go to Vita Shell. And you can either connect through USB mode or FTP client, and I will be connecting via FTP. Head on over to our desktop. Open up my FileZilla. Perfect. Let's do our quick connect here. I'll also open up my web browser so we can take a look at the notes online. So here's version 0 0.0.1. Here's the download VPK. Very nice. Let's go to the release page here. <clears throat> so the features we got going on is working save states native resolution to 960 by 544 with MSAA four times native support to dual analogs we have VFlux implementation by linear filtering I think that's how you say it. implementation ARM Dy DynaRec audio support synchronous synchronous <laughs> I'm having a hard time saying these words it's two o'clock in the morning guys rumble pack support Support for multiple controllers on PSTV. Here are the credits to all of these amazing people that made it happen. Very good. So if you click on the clean website list here, it will take you to this website, diatalusx64.renegatamante. I think that's how you say his name. And these are all the games that have been tested through Diatalus so far. And when I first saw this on like the first 10 minutes when this dropped, there was about five games available on this list or five games that were tested. 
and the first option is crash 9.46% games that crash before reaching in-game next we have in-game games that go in-game but have major issues that prevents it from going further early on then we have in-game yellow highlighted in yellow games that go far in-game but have glitches or have non-playable performance and playable in green 27% games that can be played from start to finish with playable performance that is pretty awesome so let's take a look at the games that are playable we have Aero Gage, Banjo Kazooie that is awesome we have Clay Fighter Sculptures Cut Diddy Kong Racing, Donkey Kong 64 Duke Nukem 3D, F-Zero X John Romero's Daikatana Mario Kart 64, that was one of the first ones that were tested. Mischief Makers, Mortal Kombat 4, Trilogy, Super Mario 64, nice. Superman 64, Jesus. Super Smash Bros, I gotta get that game right now. Tarzan, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Wave Race 64, World Cup 98. So, the ones that are not working, let's see, Crash... Resident Evil 2, Quake 2, Mario Tennis, Except, ex, Except Bike 64, we have Blast Corps, and that's about it for games that are not currently working. And this list is going to grow as the days go on here with testing. So let's take a look at Super Smash Bros. Let's click on this link and see where it takes us. This is pretty good. This is very nice because we're seeing all the issues and everything that's going on in comments. Frame rate is definitely higher on the on that game. The Alice doesn't even set 444 mode on its own. Added the playable. Okay, we are now going to install some ROMs that I have already uh, downloaded and extracted. So we're going to go into our UXO folder, or depending on how you have your Vita configured, I go into UXO folder, I'm going to go into the data folder here, and go into the Diatlas X64 folder. Here you will find the ROMs folder, and this is where we're going to drop all of our games and you want to drop just the game in here you don't want to just throw in the folder with the game because that's not gonna work the emulator will not read it properly so so here are the games I'm prepared to copy over and what you want to do is just have the file ready like this and for the most part I'm seeing a Z64 file or it can be the N64 file either one works and what we're going to do here for Killer Instinct Gold is go into this folder and copy this onto our UXO data folder. Let's go back. And the best way to extract these files or these folders is by right clicking. Using 7-zip you can extract here. And that way you have the game out of the folder instead of having it in the folder. That way you're not confused. And so we're going to test all these here right now. Looks like I have all of my games copied over. And now we are going to go check it out and see how it works. Let's go back onto our Vita. And let's get out of our Vita shell. Head on over to your Diatlas X64 emulator. And right away you should see your games available that's a good sign so our first option is Banjo Kazooie Killer Instinct Gold Pokemon Stadium Super Smash Bros and Legend of Zelda so I want to make sure that the audio is working here so I'm gonna press the L button and it looks like it's disabled so we're gonna hit this option here let's go back and by selecting that option you want to press the L button again hovering over that option. Pressing triangle, square won't do anything. I think square will get you back to the top here. So if I go to graphics, 
it will take me back to the first option. Hitting circle will just take you out like that. And let's see what the R button does here. It doesn't do anything, nor the X. So let's start up Banjo-Kazooie. I'm going to press X here and see what happens. Got nothing. Let's press the L button. Yep, that worked. The cursor stopped moving, so I'm assuming that the game is loading up here. So I did press select. So pressing select stops the game. I don't know what that does. So I do have my CPU overclocked to 500. The audio is a little rough, but better than the PSP version, that's for sure. So far, so good. Let's press start. Alright everyone, so here is Banjo-Kazooie, and I didn't want to waste your time with the whole intro, because it takes a long time. And here is the gameplay for the most part. The audio is a little bit glitchy, but for the most part, it's working. Oh yeah, this is where we're going to get some lag here. Now they mark this one as fully playable. This can be, but we are experiencing a lot of lag here. Especially when I roll. Can't reach that. So the both analogs do work. Now that we're done with this demo, we can go back to the main menu, and this is pretty cool. So we're going to use the touch screen to navigate the cursor, and this opens up the menu at the top here. That is pretty cool, and I can still play the game while I have the cursor going. That is very awesome. Let's go to the files, and you will have to press it here. Let's uh, let's close this ROM here. There we go. And let's open up Killer Instinct Gold next. And you can use the touchscreen again to press on the game you would like to load up. Wow, this is running really smooth. Very surprised. Audio's never gonna be perfect. Oh, this looks really glitchy. Jago. Jago versus Saber Wolf, and it froze there. Yep, there's our crash. You can't really see it on the screen, but I got a C2 12828 1. Save core file succeeded, and the game has crashed. Let's restart it and play another game, or let's, let's give Killer Instinct one more shot here. Yeah, Killer Instinct Gold is marked as black, and I guess the audio has been disabled. Let's plays full gore and it, it looks pretty bad and we got the f frozen screen again so we'll just skip that game here uh, let's try Pokemon Stadium very popular this one is not on the list yet on the compatibility list so we're gonna give it a go here Let me enable the audio. We'll have to enable this every time we restart the emulation here. So far, so good. Let's press start. Ooh. 
where do I go from here? Oh, this is a damn shame. We're just gonna press. Let me go back. Can I go back? There we go. Um, press X. Please select. Find the stadium, battle sites, Pokemon Lab, and mini games here. This is a battle arena for people who want to try battle now. Let's do that. Let's select the first option. Versus, I see no Pokemon. Whoa. Wait, I didn't even select no Pokemon. Oh, there it is. I can't see. They're like hidden. So let's. I'm just gonna press buttons here. Okay, so the left or the right analog are the up and down. Let's clear. Reselect. Let's hit OK. Oh my god, is it really gonna work? I'm so excited. Go, Sentry! Or which one is mine? Vulpix, I choose you. Right? Okay, so let's battle. Let's do Earthquake, my guy. So Sandra is mine. Volpix uses Fire Blast. Here's the first move! Here's the first move! And my guy Sandra is about to die. Don't die on me, come on now. Earthquake! Earthquake! Looks like a bad Pokemon chase. This is so awesome, dude. It's working. I will take it. Let's move on to the next game here. And close the ROM. Let's start Super Smash Bros. Excited to try Ocarina of Time as that is one of my favorites. Of all time. There goes the glove. Whoa, I'm getting 60 frames on my screen right now. Wow, okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go into option. Let's go back. Going back is going to be square for us here. Let's go into training mode. I don't want to really go against CPU right now, or go through the main game. Uh, let's try... Let's try Samus. Press start. And let's choose Saffron City. Okay, so... This is a little bit, no, that, that's lagging. Let's check out the emulation here a little bit. Let's do frame limit. Disabled. Oh boy. Yeah, we want to re-enable that. I don't want this video to be too long, so I will do more tests and we'll do a second video, part two, on the N64 emulator for the PS Vita. This is so exciting. Oh boy.
So here we are past the intro. I'm finally gonna do some gameplay. And this is not good. There we go. I wanna jump down here. I don't wanna talk to her. Let's just get into the gameplay here. Um, so far so good. Figure out the controls here a little bit. That is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you on the next one.